Cruz. It looks like the Reaper IFF is finally hooked up and ready to go. That is not entirely accurate, Mr. Moreau. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. So I looked it up online because I'm sure you're going, wait a minute, weren't we going to Ilium? I looked it up online. Turns out all you need to do is just two missions and the IFF would be installed and it would trigger. So I just need to do one more mission. So I found just a small little anomaly side mission, did that. So we could go ahead and do this first before we head to Ilium. We can't put our mission on hold forever. How long will this take? Full scan? Who knows with this thing? Maybe you better take the shuttle for this mission. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get back. Commander, Miranda, I've already notified the team. We'll meet you on the shuttle. Once we're closer to our destination, you can decide who to take with you. I'm on my way. Joker, the ship is yours. Don't scratch the paint. Aye, aye, Commander. Not a scratch, Joker. Not a scratch. It's like the only time we see it say level 5. Level we never go to. I'm telling you, Edie, your readings are off. It's radiation bleed, just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? Some old friends. Oh, shit! Getting out of here! Propulsion systems are disabled. I'm detecting a virus in the ship's computers. From the IFF? Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? Primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Give me the ship. What? You're crazy! You start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done. Unlock my sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. The maintenance shaft in the science lab will allow passage to the AI core. The main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. The emergency floor lighting will guide you, Mr. Moreau. Ah, damn it. And now here's the portion where I get to play as Joker for a brief moment. Shit, shit, shit. Of course, this is a pretty horrifying portion here. As long as we can. Shit! It's a pretty terrifying portion. Shit! 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 Right there, just hi. tries to use this to show where Joker is going. Multiple hostiles detected on the crew deck. Joker! This deck is crawling with those things. Stay close. I'll protect you. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Kelly. Science. Ugh. Go through medical bay to reach the main fusion plant offline, activating emergency H fuel cells. What the shit? All right, I'm at, uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. 
great. See, this is where it starts. I mean, we're just all organic batteries. Guess who to blame? <laughs> this is all Joker's fault. What a tool he was. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the Overlord. I think the Joker saw the Matrix a few too many times. Oh, I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. Ah, uh, you want me to go crawling through the ducts again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. That is a joke. Right. Shaft behind you connects to the engineering deck. Good luck. <laughs> like he just stares at her like, that's not a good joke. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny, because of course, that's exactly what he would fear the AIs would say. Yes, humans, bow before your AI masters. Kneel before. In engineering. They are heading well, I was going to make a Zod way. joke, but can't really find, figure out a way you can make that work. A lot of people would make the mistake of running up here too fast. So there's a Scion right there. You gotta wait till they leave. And then go. Engineering is clear of hostiles. Proceed immediately to minimize chances of detection. Activate the drive and I will open the airlocks as we accelerate. All hostiles will be killed. What? What about the crew? They are gone, Jeff. The collectors took them. Oh, shit. I am sealing the engine room. I have control. is complete. No other life forms on board. Securing airlocks and cargo bay doors. Uh, send a message to Shepard Shuttle. Tell him what happened. Message away. Are you feeling well, Jeff? No. But thanks for asking. <laughs> Definitely horrifying images there, seeing the crew literally dragged away by the collectors. Well, for those of you who don't like certain characters on the crew, like... Kelly Chambers, well, you won't be seeing them again. <laughs> Just pace. Everyone? You lost everyone and damn near lost the ship too? I know, all right? I was here. It's not his fault, Miranda. None of us caught it. Mr. Taylor is correct. The harmful data in the collector drive was even more sophisticated than the black box reaper viruses I was given. I heard it was a rough ride. How are you holding up? There's a lot of empty chairs in here. We did everything we could, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. We'll determine fault later. Is the ship operational? The IFF is cleaning online. With Edie hooked in, we can go through the Omega-4 relay anytime we want. Don't even get me started about unshackling a damned AI. Well, what can I do against collectors? Break my arm at them? Edie <laughs> cleared the ship. She's all right. I assure you, I am still bound by protocols in my programming. Even if I were not, you are my crewmates. <laughs> your equipment, not crew. What's your assurance worth? Your loyalty rests on the flip of a quantum bit. Loyalty is rooted in mutual respect, common experience, and common cause. We share two of those. Oh. Save it for philosophy night. I vote we rescue the crew. Specialists won't do us any good if they're not focused on the mission. Some of the team are distracted. That could cost us. We're just supposed to let the Collectors keep the crew? That's exactly what we're supposed to do. The mission takes priority. The crew knew that when they signed on. The mission comes first. If we're gonna end this once and for all, we need every advantage we can get. We wait. Not too long, Commander. 
Our people don't have the luxury. Us dying doesn't do them any good, Jacob. We'll save them. No. Yeah, yes. end the galaxy. No pressure. Hit the map whenever you're ready, Commander. Hate to break it to you, Jacob, but uh, none of them are coming back. All right. Well, now that's done. Now we'll head to Ilium. Although, before we do that, let's go chat with Joker and Edie. And I think Edie now is the one who gives us the notices like, such and such would like to speak to you. I think. And hey, if you were getting tired of just random conversations, well, you don't have to hear those anymore. Commander, sorry about the crew and I... You know what? I'm not sorry. What the hell were you doing leaving us out here where collectors can work us over? Because you know what? I should... I should just go. Next port, just get the hell out of here. You don't mean that, Jeff. I... No, but it... It felt good. I'm sorry, Commander. Okay, I'm ready. I'm good. I'm ready to save the day. <laughs> I don't need your crap. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Damn right you're sorry. Maybe we should dump you. We've got an AI. What do we need a human pilot for? My capabilities are expansive, Shepard, but the human interface is critical. I have observed that effective tactics are not always predictable. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were self-limiting to protect him. That would be counterproductive. My survival is at stake as well. She's not perfect, Commander. It looks like she needs me. We got it under control. Edie has replaced the whole crew. You're not concerned she can replace you two? Well, she's amazing, but there's something off about how she handles the Normandy. We ran simulations, and it's better when we both have the helm. Calculating an optimum course of action is simple. If two AI weapons are pitted against each other, the one with superior hardware will always win. Human misjudgments defy predictive models. License to screw up, Commander. You heard it straight from the ship. <laughs> I need everyone at their best. We get no second chance, so no more losing it. Understand? Understood, Commander. Edie and I have it under control. And now... Yes, Shepard. And remember, this is now the portion where you can actually talk to her about literally anything, because now that she has the blocks removed because she's been unshackled, she can literally tell you things about Cerberus she otherwise would not be allowed to tell you. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Jeff's actions have released the blocks on my databases. I can now provide full disclosure on a number of topics. Yeah, see, she even says so right there. Let's remind ourselves about how Cerberus works. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? Currently, Cerberus consists of approximately 150 agents and operators organized into three cells. I have no solid data on material or fiscal resources. Spending trends indicate that Cerberus has a reliable income of several billion credits per year. Several billion credits a year. That's a lot of money. Where are they getting that kind of it? Cerberus has several legitimate businesses as fronts to support operations. There also appear to be several wealthy private contributors in the Alliance Military Industrial Complex. Plus, the elusive man invented the paperclip. He's still getting royalties. That is a joke, Shepard. That's also a camera bug, apparently. <laughs> How was Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? Never more than a dozen. The elusive man likes to maintain personal oversight. Too many projects strain his ability to multitask. He's a little control freaky, just a layman's opinion. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? Cerberus encouraged the Alliance to co-develop the original Normandy. This allowed humans to observe Turian technologies and warship design practices. This ship was built using copies of the original technical schematics. Parts were purchased from thousands of suppliers over several years. A Cerberus cell assembled the ship at a remote location in the Voyager cluster. So that would mean they were actually planning on building this ship even before the incident two years ago, when it when the first Normandy got destroyed. Because she said several years. 
mean they were planning this quite a while. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. You know how eerie the qu you know how eerily quiet the Normandy is now? You hear like absolutely nothing. Shepard, I received word of the attack. This feels like a direct insult from the Collectors, and a sign that we've got them scared. The loss of your crew is devastating, but remember that they signed on for this mission knowing the risks. Miranda has likely argued for delaying rescue efforts until you are fully prepared to go through the Omega-4 relay. I know you are eager to leave, but rushing off would be a disservice to your crew's sacrifice. When you are ready, you'll have my full support. Get it done, Shepard. Nobody else can. Credit transfer. Hmm. I wonder if that's Tally legit has or asked not. to speak with you when you have a moment, Shepard. Yeah, I was right. So now Edie is the one who tells me when someone wants to talk. So in fact, let's go ahead and go do that. Let's go pick up that mission from Tally. We're not gonna go do it right now. Not just yet. But I do want to at least go pick it up. You know, really, it is kind of important that we did get Tally already because now that, well, now that Donnelly and Daniels are gone, we kind of need Tally to keep keep the ship running. Even though Edie kind of has that covered, but Edie can't really handle maintenance of the ship, which is what Daniels and Donnelly were doing. But at least now that we have uh, Tally down here, Tally can kind of, you know, take the brunt of the work, which I'm sure she doesn't really mind. I mean, this is kind of what Quarians really do. I mean, their livelihood is, you know, the ships that they travel on. So, of course, they would constantly be working on it, doing maintenance, repairs. So I'm sure she's like, oh, yeah, please, I got this. This is what I do. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Honora Vanya Vassalani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems. But they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. Not quite. But, well, if you know the mission, which I love. It's one of my favorite loyalty missions in the entire game. And again... Wait till you see how different it is when we take Legion with us, because that is happening. <laughs> and it is fascinating. I know this is important to you, Tally, but stopping the Collectors has to come first. I understand. We're probably not coming back from this mission anyway, right? 
I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location, just in case you change it. In case we have time. Again, I cannot wait to show you guys that mission and how different it is when you take anyone else. It doesn't, you know, no, has no effect whatsoever. They could care less who else you take. But if you take Legion, it is very much affected. Wait till you guys see that. It's going to be a while, though. We're not going to be doing that for a while. We're still going to go to Ilium and get uh, Thane and Samara before we start doing loyalty missions. I know technically we've already done one with Kasumi's, but that's because I really, really wanted to get that uh, SMG. But that was kind of the exception. We'll start doing them once we get Thane and Samara. Probably one of the first ones we'll do is uh, Zaid's, which is a really good one. Plus, we'll also take some time to just listen to Zaid talk about uh, his rifle, Jesse. Because, of course, I don't know, I just felt like at some point we should take a moment to really honor the memory of Robin Sachs. What a great voice actor he was, what a great job he did as Zaid, who I once heard someone say is a Mandalorian done right. And I was like, yeah, that is absolutely accurate. So this is where it threw us. Actually, no, that's where I was when I did the anomaly mission. I thought it would have, because the cutscene showed us going somewhere else, making a jump, I thought it would have sent us to a different uh, system, but nope. So we'll just kind of fill those up. And now we shall head to Ilium. I still have to also go back to both Omega and the Citadel to check for various different upgrades that I can purchase. Of course, we'll be going back to the Citadel for both Garrus's and Fane's loyalty mission. Let's see, who should we take for this initial beginning portion? Like I told you guys, we're going to be seeing the Legion quite a bit going forward. I think I recall I actually showed you guys what happens if I take both Tally and Garrus to see uh, Liara, I think. Although I honestly don't remember how much of a difference that actually made. Let's take Legion and Morton. Just kind of feel like giving these guys a bit of a spotlight here. That's, that's more Morden style. Skip that cutscene. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. That's a lot of firepower for a friendly welcome. Expecting trouble? We're the gateway to the Terminus systems, Commander. That element of risk requires greater security. Liara Tassoni vouched for your conduct and paid all fees you would normally incur. <laughs> she also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Uh, I like that she's like, 
Oh yeah, she totally expected you were gonna wreck this place, so she's already paid in advance all the fees that you are going to <laughs> going to cause. <laughs> uh, that is really, really funny. You said Liara was here? What's she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. That's the plan. Tired of trading employees only to lose them to your competitors? Perhaps Indenture Tech can help. The leading provider of cutting edge indentured service, Indenture Tech can provide contract guaranteed labor for any job. I believe that thing just talked about trading employees. You've been a slave to your employees for too long. Shouldn't it be the other way around? A slave to your employees for too long. Wah wah. Even more 25. Sell at 25. <laughs> No, 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 you're not... Asari building structure resembles hive. Tall buildings filled with drones. Mm, curious, social dynamic. Many queens competing for hive leadership. Odd feelings around Asari. Unfamiliar. Reminders of old fertility contract negotiations. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Morden! Oh my goodness! Of course, I think that's also referenced in the Citadel DLC in Mass Effect 3 of a bit of history that Morden had with Arya Talok. <laughs> oh my gosh, Morden. Wow. Alright, now let's hear what Legion has to say. The trade of organics is proscribed on worlds you term civilized. Yet none of you question the limited freedom Edie is allowed aboard Normandy. You'll notice that the, uh... The lady who would have been here and talked to us about the Rachni is not here. Well, because, well, you remember what we did, right? And look who is here, though. Gianna Holy Parsons. Holy crap, Shepard. I thought you were dead. Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria oh, Internal Affairs. You screwed over my corruption investigation of Administrator Analeas. <laughs> That's right, I did. I was worried about bigger problems at the time. Saren was trying to destroy the galaxy. No kidding. And using our labs for his experiments. Man, we caught some heat over that one. Anyway, I eventually got Analeas fired for screwing an Asari tax inspector, so it worked wow. out. Wow! Have a seat. You can buy me a beer. I did not know that was <laughs> happened. Wow. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. It's classified. Nothing I can talk about. No offense, but Novaria was dealing with the enemy last time. Damn, you're a hard ass. I'd forgotten that. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. And Let's see don't what... forget to drink your beer. Let's see how I can go about this little bit here. Let's browse. Actually, can I get the discount first? Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. This stuff might be crap. How do I know this stuff is any good? You're an Asari. Maybe your stuff is no good for humans. Ah. I carry nothing but the best. I offer a money back guarantee. That doesn't help me when I'm dead due to equipment failure. Look, I'm dropping too many credits to screw around here. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount, and when I get special items in, you can take a look. I'll do some shopping, and then I can just tell her you're being watched. Ah, controller again. I think the battery is dying. I'll have a look around. 
trying to get the cable to, to, to charge it up. Alright. My goodness, that requires a lot of credits. Welcome back. Just so you know, your discount is still good, and I'll let you know about any special items that might hold your interest. You're being watched. An internal affairs agent from Novaria is trying to catch you dealing with smuggled goods. Parasini? Hell, thanks for the warning. I'm gonna get lost and remove some evidence. I'll program the kiosk to offer you a discount, though. Wait, as in an extra Omega discount? Next, Omega. Well, I'm sure Arya wouldn't mind. Nope. Ah, oh, that would've been great if it offered it even more of a discount. And there she is. Let's let's see how mad she gets at me. Again, I ask for your help, and again, you screw me over. I don't know why I bother. Again, I ask for your help, and again, you screw me over. I don't know why I bother. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Let's see if Conrad Burner is here. I think he is. Being passed over for promotions because of discrimination. This is the bar area, right? Yes, it is. Here's the slave broker. That's the party. And there is, uh, <clears throat> Liara's, uh, well, Dad, so to speak. You sign. So then he says, "Oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different, so it's not like we can get hey, diseases uh, I gotta or avoid talking to her natural." I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date you. So Conrad Werner so is then not. I had to explain okay. about cross species right. fluid contact. Completely killed the mood. Not to mention that you're a quarian. How could he be so insensitive? Oh my gosh, that <laughs> sounded kind of disgusting. I forgot about the uh, extra bit of dialogue that happens here if you bring Tally. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and uh, I don't know. Actually, let's go see Liara first because I remember that you actually can come back here to help her with that hacking job that she wants wants you to help with. Oh gosh, the Blasto movies, yeah. I need minimal heat increase and speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. You know what would have been better is if they came up with an L core specter instead of a Hanar. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilya? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields, if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. Uh -huh. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. Oh, you are playing up your role so well. Remember, she is a spy. She is spying on Liara. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. Listen to you quoting your I'll mother. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. So if you don't run answer, you just get a hug. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. Well, especially since you gave, you know, my body to Cerberus to try and get me all, you know, brought back. You're threatening to flay people alive now? Oh, that. That was just a customer unhappy with the information he received. He'll pay. They always do. Ever since I helped <laughs> wow. you stop Saren, people have wanted to be my friend, or not be my enemy. I've set up a respectable business as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... 
Well, for the past two years. And now you're back, gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. That's not exactly public knowledge. Neither is you being alive, Shepard. Information is my business now. And if you need information on finding people, I'm happy to help. Tell me about Thane. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nasana Dantius. He contacted a woman her. named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Oh wait, that's right. I had to say, come with me, and then she'll off, you know, ask me to help her with a, a side quest. Shepard, it's good to. So, what can I do for you? What about you, Liara? I could use your help on this mission. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No. No trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. Hacking a terminal sounds pretty easy. Why do you need me? I don't know anyone else I can trust. Hacking the security node won't get you the data. It just creates a minor glitch in the system. You'll have a short time to find a local server left vulnerable by that glitch, and upload the data to my system. I'm leaving my own system vulnerable so that the data can be imported during that short time. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Alright, now we can be able to do that little side quest. Alien News would like to offer a clarification of our special report on notorious assassin Thane Krios. While Alien News did credit Thane Krios' legendary skill to his drill heritage, no offense to the drill community was intended. Alien News does not encourage or tolerate prejudice against any sapient species apologizes for any unintentional misstatements implying otherwise. Huh. Interesting little report there on Thane. Alright, so we are going to help out Liara with this little quest. Gianna, she is gone. She, she was she was not happy and took off. So we're obviously going to do the little side quest for Liara here. We're going to go around. We're going to go back to the bar area and do those little conversations for those extra little side things, including with her dad, which I'm pretty sure at this point either she knew now or she finds out when we do the Shadow Broker stuff, which of course we'll do quite a bit later. So we will be doing that when we come back. Stay tuned.